Hey everyone, it's Kimber Schaefer here for Rage in the Ring. We are here at Western Avenue Boxing talking all things Rage in the Ring 1. It's going down February 25th at Sugar Creek Casino in Hinton, Oklahoma. And Twan Smith, he's sitting here with me. He is a debut pro boxer. And you're fighting Art Parker, who is pretty well known um, in the MMA industry. So um, do you know anything about your opponent and you know what he's done so far in martial arts and boxing? Um, from what I've seen on YouTube, you know, it's nothing that I'm worried about. Um, he's a brawler and I'm a boxer, so it's a big difference. And uh, my talent, I'm just going to do what I normally do. What I've been taught to do so. <laughs> well, you train at Western Avenue Boxing in Oklahoma City. I want to have you tell me a little bit about the gym there. And then also, you come from a boxing family, so we'll talk a little bit about that as well as your brother. So yes, tell us a little bit about your gym to start off with. Uh, my gym is very, um, it's a comfortable gym. Everybody gets along with everybody. We get in there, get our work done, take care of business. We don't play around. I love it. I get along with everybody. Everybody, you know, like family in there, so just a comfortable gym, positive people. I just love the environment. Well, and, you know, like we talked about briefly just a minute ago, you um, look up to your older brother, is that right? Yes, ma'am. And he was a boxer who has passed away in just in 2015? Yes, ma'am. He was a 22-year veteran professional boxer, cruiserweight, light heavyweight, ranked 33 in the nation, so he's been around. Um, Get all my experience from him, a lot of sparring, all my talent, you know. This is what he wanted me to do. This is what he left me to do. I don't think we mentioned his name, Terrence Smith, yeah, is Terrence that correct? Yeah, Terrence Smith Jr., also known as T-Rex. All right. Well, I mean, do you feel any pressure to perform a certain way to, because of your experiences and your brother being a 22-year veteran? Right. No, I'm just, um, it's no pressure at all. Just going to do what I do. Just take care of business, what he's taught me to do. Um, taught me never to fear a man that leads like me or wake up like me and put on his shoes like me. So once I get in that ring and the bell rings, take my time and do what I need to do. All right, and you've had a, a bit of an amateur career, about 10 fights. Tell me a little bit about your experiences as an amateur boxer, some of the pros um, and some of the learning lessons. Um, as an amateur, what I've learned is never rush into things, you know, take your time. Um, you're going to win as amateurs and you're going to lose. There's a few people that has an undefeated, well, I can't say that. Yeah, but you're going to take losses as amateurs and um, that's what you learn from, you know, is the losses. So I've had my fair share of wins and I've had my fair share of losses. And the level that I'm on now, I'm not looking to take any losses. So. Um, as an amateur to a pro, I think I'm going to do well as a professional. What do you think you're going to bring to this event? What kind of fighter are you and what can people expect to see February 25th? Well, I mean, the type of fighter I am, um, I'm patient, um, I'm smart, and uh, I'm just going to, you know, just take my time and do what I'm supposed to do, normally do. Um, hopefully he comes ready to fight because I'm most certainly come prepared and ready to fight. I've been out, I haven't had a fight in about a year and a half, so i got a lot to show the world as of right now and a lot for my brother's sake too. I'm just curious to know a little bit about you. What are some of the your best memories so far, your best moments in your boxing career? Um, my best moments, I would have to say the Golden Gloves. Uh, I competed in Golden Gloves in 2006 and also in 2015. Um, I was a little, 2015, I didn't perform as I should have. I knew I could have done better. Um, had to cut weight and didn't get no sleep the day before, so. It happens like that sometimes, but I took my loss like a man and moved forward. 2016, um, I feel like I got cheated. I dropped a guy in the first round. The referee called the fight off, and he let the guy get back up, and they end up giving to him uh, by split decision. 
and that kind of upset me because he went to Salt Lake City and got beat with the body shot. So I felt like I could have won that and been the Golden Glove champion in 2006. Well, I appreciate getting to know a little bit about you. And any shout outs, any sponsors, anybody that you want to say thank you to right now? Yes, ma'am. Uh, first shout out, I'd like to thank the man above, you know, for letting me see this opportunity and just keeping me alive. Um, I'd like to thank uh, Coach Billy Smith for the opportunity and a great coach, Scott Salisbury, the sponsor, and everybody that's supporting Team Smith. All right. Well, thank you. Speaking about supporting Team Smith, guys, you need to come out and support all of these boxers at Rage in the Ring 1. It's going down February 25th at Sugar Creek Casino in Hinton. You can get tickets at TicketStorm.com from any of these fighters on the card, and we hope to see you there.